In the previous lesson, we did catch up questions. Now, what did we mean by catch up questions? It was when you had two people or two objects, all right? And um, let's say we have two people. We have Amy and we have uh, Sam. Now, let's say Amy decides she's going to start driving, okay? Then what Sam would do is he or she would... Um, wait for maybe an hour or two and then Sam would decide to try catch up to Amy and what we said was that when when Sam catches up to Amy what did we say was exactly the same between both of them we said that the distance traveled is the same okay but now, in this lesson, what we are going to look at now is something called a round trip question. So it only involves one object, not two objects, okay? So there's not going to be like an Amy and a Sam. There's just going to be an Amy, for example. Okay, and the way it works is the following. Let's say you live in California. All right, you live in California, and you are going to be flying to Texas. Okay, so you're going to take off in California, and you're going to fly to Texas. And then a few days later, you are going to fly back home again. Now, assuming that the airplane just flies in a straight line, what can we say? Is the speed going to be the same? Well, not necessarily. You might be using two different airplanes. Is the time going to be the same? Well, no, because if you fly faster, then your time will be less. And if you fly slower, then your time would be more. But the distance from California to Texas and from Texas back to California, that will stay the same. Yes, we are assuming that the airplane flies the exact same path. We're not talking about like maybe the airplane first goes here and then here and then here. We are assuming that the airplane flies in a straight line. So that distance will be the same. And that is the key thing you must remember with these round trip questions. Okay, so let's quickly read and see what this question is all about. A passenger plane made a trip to Dublin and back. The trip there took six hours and the tri trip back took four hours. It averaged 285 miles per hour on the return. Find the ar average speed of the trip there. Okay, so once again, we must remember from the previous lesson that we learned about the distance, speed, and time formulas. Those are vital for these types of questions. Then what else did we learn? We learned that... A table makes our life much better. Okay, and that table typically has four columns, or it actually always has four columns, and then it usually has um, three rows. Okay, even though this one only has one object, you'll see now what I'm talking about. So this could be distance, speed, time. You could say time, distance, speed, or speed, distance, time. It doesn't really matter. Then the next thing is we need two different categories. So let's say... Um, to Dublin, let's say we're going to Dublin, and then let's say we're going back, okay? So we're going to Dublin, and then we're going back home. So let's say we're going back home. You can sort of call that whatever you like, to be honest, It's long as, as long as you know what you're talking about. Now I'm going to try to draw this out. So let's say this is home, and this is Dublin. Okay, Dublin in Ireland. All right, so... Um, the trip there took six hours. Okay, so going there, it took six hours. Okay, so we could actually fill that in. On the way to Dublin, it took us six hours. And on the way coming home, it took us four hours. Ah, so on the way home, we we're going a bit faster. So that was four hours. Um, it averaged 285 miles per hour on the return. The return is when you're going home. So that's when you're coming home. So you might have written the word return over here. So that, that is the speed. Some learners look at that and they're like, oh, that's the distance because they see the word miles. But it's miles per hour. That is a speed. So that's going to be 285. Right. Now we are on our way because now what we can do is we can easily calculate this distance by using the distance equals to speed multiplied by time formula. So distance will be the speed of 285 multiplied by the time, which is 4. And so if you multiply that, you're going to get 1140. And that is in miles. Sometimes it's in kilometers. That's going to be 1140. 
Now remember what we said at the beginning of this lesson, the distance there and the distance back is always gonna be the same. So this will also be 1140. And now we can simply work in this um, row over here and we can calculate the speed, which is equal to distance over time. And so that's gonna be equal to 1140 divided by six. And that's gonna give us 190. So the speed is 190. Now let's see if we answer their question. Find the average speed of the trip there. Yes, so the answer will be 190. Now give the correct units, miles per hour. Next example says that Stephanie made a trip to her friend's house and back. Okay, so let's quickly draw that. Um, let's say Stephanie, home, Stephanie's home and friend's home or friend, let's just say friend. And so we know that we are gonna go to the friend and then she's gonna go back. And then, okay, on the trip there, she okay, well, let's first get our little table. Okay, then we can have distance, speed and time. And then we're gonna have um, to the friend and then we could say return home return home. Okay, so let's see what we can do. So it says on the trip there, she traveled 20 kilometers per hour. Okay, so that's her speed um, on the way there. And on the return trip, she went 25 kilometers per hour. Okay, we've got that. How long did the trip there take if the return trip is four hours? Okay, so the return trip is four hours. So here's what we can do. We can take our distance, speed, time formulas. Let's just write them down for good practice and to remember them. So we can work out the distance by using speed multiplied by time. So distance is equal to speed, which is 25, multiplied by time, which is four. And that gives us 100. And that would be kilometers this time, not miles, because we're using kilometers per hour. So the distance would be 100. Now the thing to remember with these questions is that the distance there is always gonna be the same as the distance back. And so we can say that the distance to the friend is also 100. Now we can use the time formula, which says time is equal to distance over speed, which would then give us 100 divided by 20, which is five hours. And so let's make sure we've answered the question. How long did the trip there take if the return trip took four hours? Well, there we have it, five.